Here are some of the things you will need. You'll need yourself some magazines. Photo magazines are better so that you've got lots of different imagery and colours to be able to look for in each of the magazines. You can then chop up those individual pieces. You could do with some coloured pieces of paper, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a pot of PVA glue if you prefer, and then you need to get the printout from the website. And here is a little top tip from me. When you're using a print stick, put a little bit onto your finger and it'll help you pick up the individual square tiles so that then you can easily put that paste on the back and print that down onto your print. When creating your photo montage using the mosaic technique, what you need to do is get the coloured squares that you've already got set into individual bags. Here, I'm using the blue. And what I'm doing is I placed as many blue tiles as I could at the bottom of my print but I placed them in order of colour, so I wanted to use darker edges around the outside of the picture and then slowly build my way towards lighter tones of blue using bluer squares. It always helps if you lay them out first rather than just grabbing them straight out of the bag and working from there. When overlapping and trying to create outline colours, the best thing to do is strip your squares into individual thinner strips, don't just use squares. And as you can see, I put little yellow outlines around the outside of my rows so that when I do the white parts, it stands out more. Outlining and using a ballpoint pen. The best thing to then do is grab yourself your print, place your print upside down with the piece of collage you want below and some kind of soft edge. So I'm using a magazine because that absorbs the print itself. What I then do is I press down hard with my ballpoint pen and then it reveals an indentation onto the magazine page that I wanted to use. In this case, I wanted the text part for part of my rows. So I flip my print upside down, use my scissors, cut round carefully, and then when I flip that round, as you can see, I've created that section of the rows all in one cut, rather than using mosaics if you're finding that a little bit too difficult. Then I used my ballpoint pen to trace around the area I wanted, applied the glue in that area, and then put my edge down. When collaging, or as I like to call it, drawing with scissors, the best thing to do is get yourself two of the same print from the website. So just print two versions off once you've downloaded it. Get one of your pieces of paper that you have downloaded and cut around it so that you've only got the square showing. Then what you need to do, having got rid of any loose bits, you need to then go around each individual outline that's inside your square tile. So as you can see, I'm working my way around the Yorkshire Terrier. I start to cut my way around the Kestrel and the, the, the bird. I'm then going to work my way around the rhubarb, the leaves, and each of the individual backgrounds. When you cut around those as best as you can, you then lay them out in front of you so that you can see that the design that you're working with. And you're going to use these then as a template to be able to cut round when it comes to adding colour to your collage. You get yourself a pencil, having done this, place each individual section that you want to cut out on top of the coloured card of your choice. So I've gone for brown for the Yorkshire Terrier, traced around it and then I've cut it and I've got the outline of the Yorkshire Terrier itself. Once you've cut round certain areas that you're going to be using, you can basically start to do the fun part, apply glue to the back and start to stick this onto the second printout that you got from the website. And when you work your way through this, you can work your way through all the different colours and layers as you can see on my design here. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to collage and photo montage. Having completed your design, please now photograph this and send it back to yorkshiretales.co.uk.